Hi everyone, Kamal here, and I welcome you all to the second hands-on video of second review of Windows 10 for phones, the build 10051. So in the first uh, video, we have seen some uh, less covered features or changes, and in this video, we will again cover some uh, interesting features, and as well as we will go through uh, some apps which have been redesigned, like messaging, phone, <coughs> and. Uh, then we have Outlook Mail and Calendar, which are like uh, very much revisited, redesigned app. And uh, then we will also talk about Spartan. So let's uh, begin with an interesting feature. So So like we have seen uh, <clears throat> in uh, some leaked images, screenshots of some uh, uh, some other builds prior to uh, release of the second preview that the LED notifications were there and now we can see actually. So if, if in case your phone supports LED notification, you can actually see that. So uh, currently this uh, Luma 525 does not support it. So I am not able to set it, but you can do that if uh, you have a phone which supports it. So this is one interesting thing. Now, uh, as I uh, told that some of the apps, basic apps are really redesigned. So we will start with phone. So, so you can see the uh, new design actually. So if you are new to Windows 10 for phone, so it will be entirely new. But if you have already uh, used uh, the first preview of Windows 10 for phone, so it may not that um, it may not be that much uh, you know strange or new to you but still uh, there are some changes visual changes from the last review build to this okay so uh, now you have three tabs here speed dial dial pad and history You can uh, see that this is dial pad and this is a call button. So, if you go to the settings, here you have the voicemail, phone book search, select calls, blocked calls. In the settings, if you go, you'll see uh, some familiar settings, and then you have one thing which is uh, new that it choose spam filter. So, here you can choose the spam filter. So like we have a native call plus sms filter if you have any other app you can perhaps choose that as well and then you have the choose caller id app so again you don't have anything so uh, you can actually if you uh, kind of install any caller id app then maybe you can be you would be able to uh, set it here so this was like uh, the phone or the, i mean the phone app looks like here Okay, now going back to the messaging app. Again, the messaging app has been redesigned and now you can see that uh, the conversation, it looks like a like threaded conversation or uh, then you can see that profile picture here of the contact that appears here. So again, it has uh, not been assigned with any other app. It's only messaging. Otherwise, I think the clicking here would have uh, taken me to some other app. If we go to uh, settings, then again you have text message backup. You have more settings here, but not much different. Again, here also you can choose this spam filter. So that is something which is like uh, common to both the phone and messaging app, and which is new as well. Okay, so this was uh, the phone map and messaging app. Let's uh, find out how the Spartan works because we have heard about a lot about Spartan. So let's have a look on this. So this is a this is a Spartan browser with this minimalistic UI, but it works really well. It is fast. 
you can see a refresh button then uh, address bar and then you have reading mode if you go to the bottom you have tabs hub and share so uh, tabs are like I mean everybody is familiar what are like tabs then if you go to hub so it's something new so you have three tabs again this is for history this is the reading list so reading list is when you uh, I mean save a page or something for uh, offline reading so that appears here in this reading list favorites is where you can see what uh, you have saved as favorites pretty neat as I said the navigation is uh, really like this minimalistic UI so navigation is pretty much uh, cool okay the browser for uh, I mean most of the part it works fine <clears throat> scrolling panning it is it is smooth but I um, mean still I'll say that since it's a work of development so still it uh, needs some improvement when you load some pages then there are some hiccups that you found here and there um, okay now see in the settings uh, if we go and then you have the reading the style reading if you font size clear browsing data then you have two interesting settings predict the next page and speed up and help protect my pc from malicious site so these two settings you've uh, been already using the windows 10 desktop you may have already seen so this is all about uh, the settings here now how to add anything to a reading list so just you can go to this uh, i mean main menu and then you can just see add to reading list and add to favorites so this is how this uh, spartan browser works <coughs>